Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ayana and if this is your second or third time, welcome back girlfriend. Welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back. Oh yeah man, how you doing? So I'm going to be starting a new segment on my channel, which is going to be titled Rich Girls Room. In this segment, pretty much I'm going to be discussing topics that you guys want to hear about um, that you may or may not feel comfortable speaking about it to your parents. Or maybe you just want some advice. You never know. Sometimes you want to hear advice from a complete stranger who knows nothing about you and it makes it a little bit easier to digest. I'm going to leave the link to my Instagram down below. You can just DM it to me or you can send it to my email and I'll respond either way. So in today's video, what I'm going to be discussing is maintaining your vaginal care. It's very important in the new year. Very important. Us as women, young ladies, whatever your age bracket is, it's important to take care of your pooch. I'm going to, I'm just going to call it a pooch because um, it's a little more PG-13 than saying vagina. Well, I'm going to say, oh, my coochie, oh, my purse, get your life, cornball. So, your pooch. Let me give you a little bit of background about my pooch, okay? I got my first yeast infection in my freshman year of college. That's disgusting. I can't get no bum bum. I started to notice that more often than not, I began getting them so frequently. Like if I got in the pool, I got an infection. If I changed my body wash, I got an infection. If I had sex, I got an infection. I really didn't understand why I was getting them so frequently. And then it all, ding, made sense to me. I wasn't practicing proper maintenance of the pooch okay so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys or telling you guys about five different um tips hacks that you can do to maintain proper pooch health okay so tip number one is going to be do not do not douche okay i don't know who invented this contraption but he's an idiot like it obviously was a dude because it couldn't have been a woman because you're an idiot so when you douche, it pretty much flushes out all the good and the bad bacteria, which causes your body to try and reproduce these bacteria at a faster rate, causing the bad bacteria to eat the good bacteria a lot faster, which causes then an overgrowth of bad bacteria. When you have an overgrowth of bad bacteria, you get things called a yeast infection, bacterial vaginosis. So we need to stay away from it. Whoever told you to do it, don't listen to them. Tip number two, wipe from front to back. Okay, so I'm gonna give y'all an example. So this is your toilet paper tube. What I do, cause I got a little junk in the trunk. <laughs> okay, so I have to do the roll. Well, you have to roll the toilet paper on your hand, if my dad sees this video, he's gonna go berserk that I'm wasting this toilet paper. But it's all for the cause. I take 115. So you have to roll it around your hand so that you don't get any ick on your hand, right? So when I say wipe from the front to the back, okay, so you're gonna go behind yourself, through your legs, up to your pooch, and back. That is what people mean when they say wipe front to back. In doing this, you are avoiding getting so much fecal matter, E. coli, all of these things in your pooch. Your pooch is very sacred. The smallest little thing can offset its pH balance. So be mindful, all of these things are super important, okay? Tip number three, wear cotton underwear. A lot of times, you know, we like to get cute, we like to feel sexy. So some, from time to time we'll try the lace and the, the silks and all of that, but our pooch needs to breathe. It really does. It's really important that you wear breathable underwear. It's okay for maybe a day, but that's not something that you should be wearing every single day um, because it can be very harmful. If your underwear can't breathe, that moisture will sit 
in the seat of your underwear and that moisture can also cause an overgrowth of bad bacteria. Tip number four, soaps. Now, when, you, you, when you're washing um, your pooch, it's better that you use non-scented, unscented, is it unscented or non-scented? I think it's unscented soaps. You don't want to use anything too perfumey um, because that can also throw off your pH balance, okay? Super important. You don't want to put any spray, any perfume down there. I've seen people spray perfume on their thighs. Boy, if you don't... Use unscented soaps down in the pooch area. Okay. Last but not least, please do not use Summer's Eve. Obviously, the same dude who created the douche is the douche that created Summer's Eve. Like, oh, that was really bad. I shouldn't have called him a douche, but. So, if you feel like you must use some type of feminine wash, I suggest one product and one product only cookie wash now where do I begin with this product like all I know is I'm so glad that I bought it so glad black owns does a bomb job and listen it's just bomb just get it okay I'll read to you what it says on the bottle it says cookie wash unscented all natural feminine wash cookie wash is gentle is a gentle foaming cleanser designed to moisturize and refreshing the most intimate and sensitive parts of your body directions for external use only press the foam pump to dispense the wash apply the wash on the vulva and rub thoroughly Rinse off with water and pat dry. Maybe use daily, discontinue use if any ir irritation occurs. Now, this stuff is made out of olive oil, coconut oil, sunflower oil, um, aloe vera, shea butter, rosemary, and citric acid. If I pulled up the ingredients of Summer's Eve, now, why wouldn't you get this? I'm, that's just point number one. <laughs> Okay, but that you guys were my tips on proper pooch health, okay? Make sure that you're taking care of yourself. It's not just about your pooch. It's also about your mental, your spiritual, and every aspect of your life. Just make sure that you're taking care of yourself, okay? See you guys in my next video. Don't forget to give me a like, a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Later.